This is going to be an, a quick example of how to use Ohm's Law. And you've already seen what Ohm's Law is from the videos you watched. And we're just going to do a quick, quick example here. So here's our problem. Take a second to read through it. We basically are talking about a battery inside a flashlight. Very standard problem. The first step we always do is draw a schematic diagram. And you learn what these different symbols mean as you watch the videos. This is our battery, and that's where we have our voltage. We know it's 6 volts because we put a 6 volt battery in this flashlight here. The resistance comes from the light bulb there, and our problem tells us that it's 150 ohms. So that's our resistance here. And then we have current flowing through the circuit. But we don't know how much current there is. <coughs> Here's the formula for Ohm's Law, V equals IR. And in this case, we're going to look for I. So we're going to plug in the things we know. We know 6 volts, and we know the resistance is 150. So we plug in R and V. And then how do we solve this baby algebra problem? Well, we're going to divide by this 150 so that we get I by itself. 6 divided by 150 gives us 0 0.04 amps. But that's a very small number, and it's a little bit hard to work with. So what we're going to do is move this over three places over to change amps into milliamps. And that's our final answer. That's all there is to Ohm's Law.